In today's video, I'm gonna show you my full routine on how I wash and care for my hair in winter time, what things I do for hair growth, and how I deal with hair loss and greasy hair during this time. So drop a like if you enjoy this video and let's begin. During winter, our hair struggles a lot. It doesn't grow much, tends to get more greasy than usual. We see more hair fall and dry ends as well. So when it comes to my winter hair care routine, wash day is extremely important because this is when I do a lot of stimulating on my scalp. I pull a lot of hydration and remove buildup from my scalp as much as I can. So before washing my hair, I always do a pre-wash oil treatment, which basically is gonna help with moisturizing the scalp and at the same time, keep up with hair growth. I usually start my routine with my bamboo brush to detangle <laughs> i forgot my powder brush you don't understand this is not home no ah! and then i use it to massage my scalp before oiling but due to circumstances i'm gonna do this step with my scalp massager to simulate a lot of blood flow to this area remember massaging before oiling is key for oil treatments to get absorbed much better into the scalp when i do this massage i always tilt my head upside down to rush more blood flow to the scalp i do mild pressure and try to play with my parting like i move my hair to the right and then to the left to the front and so on for an entire five minutes the reason our hair doesn't grow much in winter it's because during the colder months your blood might circulate less easy and when this happens less nutrients are gonna be supplied to the scalp which can result in slow hair growth and more hair fall so that is why implementing scalp massages daily in winter it is a fantastic way to keep up with hair growth during this time if your scalp doesn't feel warm and it like pulsates a little bit just tiny bit after doing a five minute scalp massage then you're not doing a right scalp massage and you're not promoting that blood flow for my weekly hair oil treatment i use this homemade mix of rosemary oil pumpkin seed oil and peppermint oil which by the way these are top proven oils to use on your hair for minimizing hair fall helping with regrowth and hair growth i like to keep my mixture fresh so that is why i only make a small batch that kind of lasts me for about two applications and when it comes to how to use it i just cover my entire scalp with this oil and then for the ends of my hair i'm going in with a few drops of pure avocado oil which is extremely nourishing and incredibly easy to wash out of the hair that is why my thin hair loves it for me oil treatments are super beneficial in winter not just for growth but also for balancing the oil production on the scalp since they can treat dryness can help to moisturize the scalp and just in general keeps the skin in your scalp more healthy and more balanced so less excessive oil flaky roots you know once I'm done here I'm gonna proceed to cover my hair for one hour this is normal shedding kind of normal during these days for me there's nothing wrong with this amount it's natural and it happens sometimes it is time to clean my hair, so my hair wash routine in winter, it's mainly focused on removing buildup out of the scalp and repairing the ends of my hair. So before I shampoo, I've been doing a 5 minute pre-shampoo anti-dandruff scalp exfoliation for the past months and all I gotta say is that this is a game changer if your scalp gets itchy or develop dandruff weekly, this is worth to try if you suffer with this just like me. I love this one because it combines physical and chemical exfoliation so i normally scrub for a little bit to remove all the buildup and dead skin out of my scalp and after that i had to let it sit for a few minutes for the chemical exfoliation to do its magic i know it is tempting to wash your hair in winter a little bit more often because of how greasy it gets but the thing is the more often you wash the more oily the roots get and the more drier your ends get as well so when it comes to how often you should wash your hair in winter personally i'm currently washing my hair every five days because it seems to be the right balance for my hair and scalp but if you ask me i would suggest you to wash no more than twice a week so then you're not over drying your hair and scalp but at the same time you're not accumulating dirt oil build up for too long on your scalp that it could turn into something unhealthy and cause you hair fall or other problems 
now that I rinse this off I'm gonna follow up with Viviscal Gorgeous Growth Shampoo I only wash the top half of my hair to avoid drying my ends and you should too another thing I do for winter is to wash my hair with pH balanced products to prevent breakage and reduce frizziness like my shampoo and conditioner at least gotta be pH balanced and just in general that is the best for your hair by the way this shampoo contains zinc carotene and biotin great components for hair growth and it definitely makes my thin fine hair appear fuller and super healthy which i love so much don't forget that the way you wash your hair in winter it has a massive impact on how greasy your hair can get so if you want to reduce the excess oils that your scalp produces there are a few things that you can do such as avoiding washing your hair with steam hot water make sure to emulsify your products especially shampoo brush your hair daily to brush Rain down the natural oils all the way to the ends of your hair. Wash your pillowcases and brushes every time you wash your hair to avoid transferring those old oils back to your clean hair. Any product you put in the shower, rinse it very well and finish your shower with cold water rinse. Yeah, more of this later, okay? Now to repair and nourish the ends of my hair every week, I'm going in with Meow Rosemary Straightening Hair Mask. I use this much to cover from mid to end. I like to use my fingers to comb and distribute the hair mask very well. And once I'm done here, I usually let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes with a warm microfiber towel before rinsing it off. This hair mask, it is so far one of my favorite favorite masks that I have used on my thin fine hair. It doesn't weight it down. My hair feels fabulous after I wash. Like I can tell it makes it strong and with tons of volume. And if my hair is struggling with tons of dryness, which happens a lot in the colder months like January and February, I always go back to Shea Moisture Manuka Honey to add tons of nourishment to the hair. I just want to say that in winter, I only use conditioner when I don't have time to do a hair mask uh-huh it's just a preference <laughs> now it is time to rinse the hair mask off and like I said I still do this last step in my hair wash routine with cold water look it doesn't have to be frizzy like mine but at least you could try to do it with a few degrees colder than what you used previously the reason I suggest this it is because it can help you to stop your scalp from turning greasy the next day even though looking on water it is not bad for your hair it could make your scalp secrete more oil than usual and cold water ensures your scalp remain cleaner for a longer time as it closes the pores making your scalp less vulnerable to grease oil and dirt if this is too cold for you you can also do this cold water rinse outside of the shower like in a sink or something which is what sometimes i do when it's too cold now that i have finished washing my hair i'm gonna use a microfiber towel to cover my hair for 15 minutes and it is a me or those hair in the back of my neck have grown so much hair growth is hair growth okay but why did it have to grow right there could it grow right here okay we're taking wins okay <laughs> With my scalp clean and ready to absorb anything I put on, this is the perfect time to apply my after shower hair regrowth treatments. So first, I'm going in with the Ordinary Multipeptide Serum for hair density. I put this much all over my scalp, massage a little bit, and then I'm going to proceed to just water only my scalp with some fresh rosemary water in this exact way. The more stimulation, the more hair growth we will see in this winter, and rosemary water is is perfect for that because it can decrease inflammation on the scalp, improve circulation to the hair follicles, act as an antioxidant, and it can increase hair growth. So for me, it is worth the extra step to add rosemary water into my hair care routine. And then to protect the ends of my hair from dryness, I'm going in with Olaplex Number no. 6 Bond Smoother, which is a repair living conditioner that reduces frizz, nourishes, and protects the hair. I use this match, which is enough to cover from mid to end. This product can be used in many ways, like on dry or wet hair, if you style or air dry, which is pretty cool. And then to seal the cuticle and all the products I put in, I'm going in with Remelia Keratin Hair Serum. 
to add more moisture and gorgeous shine which is never enough and I only use half and then the other half I save it so that I can use it during the common days to nourish and protect my hair from split ends. I usually let my hair air dry but here's the thing in winter my hair takes more than 30 minutes to dry and honestly wet cold haired in winter is not my thing so that is why I blow dry my hair I personally don't blow dry my hair with hot or warm air I only use the cool air on my hair which works for me even though I'm not using intense heat I still use heat protecting products like Olaplex leave-in conditioner to avoid any type of potential damage however if you use heat in general make sure to get a proper heat protecting product okay as for technique i don't do anything fancy it is actually pretty simple i follow a few rules for example i always use the nozzle on the hair dryer to get a more precise airflow i also try my best to keep the hair dryer pointing in one direction i try to avoid the circular motions to reduce tangles and messy hair at the end i also try my best to maintain a good distance between my hair and the hair dryer just in case to protect my hair and scalp from any hot air that it can burn it and once my hair is completely dry then I proceed to blow pure cold air for 20 seconds all over my hair to enhance the shine and this also helps to seal the cuticle you might think oh, oh that's a lot but I only do this every five days and then the other days it's just like regular stuff I apply a hair serum on the ends I detangle my hair I do a lot of scalp massages whenever I can. Two important things that I intake during winter time is flax seeds and pumpkin seeds. I was actually reading an article about pumpkin seeds. They are really good in fighting hair loss from the inside and like regrowing hair. Ingesting those things are gonna like help us to fight hair loss and hair shedding and all the stuff that we really don't want, you know? I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I love you all so much and I really hope that I get to see you in the next video. Pura vida. Bye. I brought everything except something to detangle my hair. And I thought about using the brush in the bathroom. But it looks nasty. I, I thought about it, okay? I feel bad to say that. Using a hair brush from somebody else for me is like asking them if I can borrow their underwear. I don't know. It's, like, it's too personal. <sighs> okay.